Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Employees Cost. That is your labor costing chapter. Uh, MCQs. These MCQs are designed to make your work bit easier. Uh, I try to say the logic of each in every answer with the explanation. So therefore, you all know why this answer is the correct answer. I'm Anuj. Request you all to join our Telegram channel. And uh, in case you are interested, then the link of the regular as well as a crash course is all printed below. Uh, let's start it off. What is the today's MCQ? Labor turnover replacement method is measured by. Bring me the four options, please. Number of persons replaced divided by average number of workers. Okay. B over here is number of workers separated divided by number of workers at the beginning of the year. Then C number of workers or number of persons replaced plus number of workers separated divided by number of workers at the beginning plus number of workers at the end of the year. Okay. And lastly, D in this case is none of the above. Okay. See, you all have done labor turnover under many options. But before I try to give my explanation, pause the video over here. Try to correct. Try to put the correct answer, please, in the comment section. Leave your memory in the comment section. That is always better that you were the one who answered correctly. So now uh, we all have done labor turnover under three methods. You have replacement method, you have separation method, and then you have flux method. I'll say separation method first. Under separation method, labor turnover. First of all, what do you mean by labor turnover? Sir, it is a rate of change of labor workforce during a certain period. Labor turnover. No company can be saying it has been 300 years. No worker has left. Are obviously workers will leave. Some workers will die. Some workers will leave for better prospects. Therefore, labor turnover will happen. Now, how to measure this uh, labor turnover? There are three methods. First of all, separation method is how many workers were separated divided by average number of workers into 100. Uh, average number of workers is calculated as number of workers at the beginning plus number of workers at the end divided by two. That is separation method. Then you have replacement method. Those workers who left in place of them, how many were recruited? Those are nothing but your replacement method. Those are nothing but your which method? Replacement method. C or the third option in this case is flux method. What do you mean by flux method? beta? Flux method in this case is addition of the above that is separation plus replacement. So therefore its formula goes like number of workers separated plus replaced divided by average number of workers An average number of workers again is nothing but number of workers at the beginning plus end divided by two. Now D option over here is nothing but none of the above. So out of the four I've already answered but still. Those guys are asking you labor turnover under replacement method. So I think A should be the correct answer. That is number of workers replaced divided by average number of workers. So A should be the correct answer. Yeah, that's the correct one. Thank you.